What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's Friday, December 22nd, 2017, and that means it is week number 15 of Zer. He is located on Titan, on the rig, so we're going to mark him, and then we are going to see what he has in his wonderful Shadow Shop this week. Real quick, a lot of new changes, or a lot of minor changes, will be coming to the channel, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy it, so you're going to get the first glimpse of it on Christmas Day. Zer! What's up, dude? So, we are going to start with the top. We have the Faded Engram, which cost 97 Legendary Shards, and this will give you an exotic that you do not have. Now, warning, you can only get one of these a week. On top of that, make sure you buy these if you do not already have it, because there is a chance that it'll give you one of these for 97 Legendary Shards. Weapon of the Week is the Risk Runner, which is an Arc Submachine Gun. Intrinsic perk on this is Arc Conductor, which... When taking arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. Then we have Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, and for a trait we have Superconductor, which when arc conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. And then we have Short Action Stop. And this also comes with your wonderful Exotic Weapon Attack mod. Now, this is a pretty decent exotic in PvE. I probably wouldn't bring this into PvP. You know, just get the effect of Arc Conductor as well as Super Conductor. You won't see that much in PvP, so this is definitely a good PvE weapon. Heavily good when uh, doing something with modifiers that, you know, I don't know, something that gives you more arc damage or something like that. So I definitely would consider this a Tier 2 or 2.5 in PvE, but definitely a tier 4 in PvP because there are a lot better submachine guns out there. I don't know, the Antiope D, Atalanta D, New City, just to name a few. But I would not waste my exotic slot on this uh, submachine gun for PvP. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Lucky Pants for the Hunter class, and this gives you two mobility and one resilience. In terms of perk on this is illegally modded holster, which precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Then we have mobility enhancement mod, plus steel reinforcement mod, as well as this comes with a self repairing mod. Illegally modded holster is a okay intrinsic perk. There are definitely better exotics out there to use for your hunter than this especially since this specifies hand cannons and it has to be a stowed hand cannon which means it's not in your hand so uh, it's hard to give this a good rating in pve or pvp so most likely i'm going to give this a 3.5 to tier 4 in pvp as well as pve because there are better exotics out there than the Lucky Pants. I'm, I'm sorry, there are. Next, we have the Doomfang Pauldron for the Titan class, which gives you two resilience as well as one recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Horns of Doom, which Shield Bash Melee Kills Recharge Shield Throw. And then we have Melee Ability Kills Recharge Sentinel Shield Super. Next, we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod and Restorative Mod, and this actually comes with a Void Impact Mod. Now, this exotic is definitely one of the better ones for your Captain America subclass, and I would actually suggest you get this. Most likely, you're going to have to get melee kills with this while you are in your uh, super, but it still is a good exotic to use. So, I definitely would give this a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP, because it's not a bad exotic to have. So, definitely grab this. Last but not least, the final piece of exotic armor we will be going over is the Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlock. And this gives you three mobility and one recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Tome of Dawn, which when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspends you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. And then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as power bracket mod. If this was Destiny 1, I'd say grab this because being in the air was amazing. 
In Destiny 2, being in the air is not cool. Not cool at all. So, if you are in the air in PvE, you're gonna get mobbed down by freaking ads. Like, terribly, unless they're thrown. If this is PvP, you don't want to be in the air anyways. Because if you get team shot, you're in the air for a lot longer than you would just be running around. And, yeah, you're just gonna die. So... I probably would rate this a tier 4, if not a 4.5, in PvE as well as PvP. It's not that good. It really isn't. So, uh, they really need to change this exotic, like, terribly. Yeah, don't buy this. At all. And unless you're a collector, buy it, you know, and buy any of these if you're a collector. And then dismantle it and just have it in your inventory, just in case they decide to make it better later on. Last but not least, for your consumables, we have your three of coins. Now, a friend of mine told me how this actually works and how to get the most effective ways out of this. So, Nito, thank you on that. What you want to do is right before you turn in your milestones is you want to pop a three of coins. And I actually did this yesterday just to test it and confirm it. And you want to pop your three of coins, then turn in your milestones. I turned in a milestone with Tess Everest and... That wonderful woman did not give me the Segura shell. I got that a different way. She gave me the sweeping exotic for uh, an emote. And I like to uh, sweep up the trash. But that's probably the most effective way to use this exotic is when you turn it in the milestones. And it's because, according to him, you already get a 50% chance on getting an exotic when you turn in milestones but this adds another 25 percent chance to that but i do know this method is effective because it got me an exotic and that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed it leave a like and share it feedback is always appreciated if you have any ideas for a future video then let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and i will see you guys next time